Hey guys, uh, this is Sam here. Let's talk about our key concepts of WebSphere application server today. And this session is a theoretical one guys. We'll be uh, talking about our vast terminologies. We'll be covering all about our profiles. So let's uh, start the session with uh, vast terminology. Here I've got a uh, few of the important terms related to WebSphere application server. You will be hearing these and uh, using these on a daily basis uh, if you are part of a VAS admin team or if you are you know planning to uh, be part of a VAS admin team. And it is essential to know about uh, these terms and uh, have an understanding about uh, basic building blocks of a WebSphere ap application server as well guys. So let's start with the very first one, uh, it's server. Server is the program which handles application operation, uh, user request and performs various actions either as a response to some user request or any internal event within the server. So server, um, when we are you know talking about a, a VAS server, it might not be the target server always. Don't uh, you know think it as uh, think of it as a you know dedicated uh, physical or uh, non-physical cloud machine. Uh, I want you to you know think of that as a JVM instance. So what is uh, a JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. Uh, it will provide a platform to host your Java based uh, applications. And one single uh, physical server or a non-physical you know entity. It can host uh, multiple JVM instances. So one server can have multiple JVM. That's the idea guys. So whenever you are hearing this uh, VAS server term. I want you to you know think of uh, it as a JVM, an instance of JVM might be a profile type or uh, can be anything. So don't confuse it with uh, your you know traditional server. And uh, the important terminology is federation. So what is a uh, uh, federation? So this is a process of uh, mapping deployment manager with uh, a suitable uh, uh, profile. We will be talking about uh, deployment manager in the upcoming session. And uh, so for now understand that federation it is uh, it is creating a mapping between deployment manager and a suitable uh, a profile subsequent profile with it. And once you do this federation uh, something called as node agent will be you know created automatically I want you to you know um, remember that as well. And a node, um, node is not a uh, running entity in VAS, node is a repository of configuration files. So, it's just a place or a placeholder for all the configuration files and uh, using this uh, various servers can be created. Cluster, a uh, cluster is a grouping of application servers, it's a logical grouping. Cluster provides uh, high availability as requests are routed to another server if uh, the parallel environment is not available. So, cluster, it, it uh, it you know consists of uh, cluster members so if think about this you have a cluster and uh, you have got two servers server a and server b if something happens to server a and it goes down automatically you know server b will be you know picking up all the traffics which are handled which were handled by server a and it provides some some sort of what you call high availability uh, uh, environment and uh, yeah you will be hearing uh, recycle or bounce uh, so don't get uh, confused whenever they are uh, talking about recycling uh, um, anything I mean uh, might be you know recycling a profile might be recycling um, uh, a server so what they are uh, you know um, talking about is uh, they are they are planning to you know uh, restart that particular instance recycle bounce everything you know uh, everything is same as a uh, restart and then you have something called as failover high availability or cluster setup so we have already you know, talked about our cluster setup in order to provide uh, your application or the end user with a high availability of your application we will we will be you know using a WebSphere application server for it and uh, yes WebSphere application server does support a failover or a high availability architecture it has this uh, cluster uh, uh, feature uh, incorporated with it and then we have something called as load balancing yes uh, again VAS has this facility what do you mean by load balancing think about uh, your application you you are hosting uh, a web application in uh, WebSphere application server and uh, you are getting you know too much traffic and how do you uh, uh, process or handle these uh, extra traffic you can have you know uh, two or three application servers under your uh, WebSphere application server and uh, you can split your entire traffic uh, equally to these two servers 
and uh, it will be you know taking care of uh, the extra load so that facility uh, is known as a uh, load balancing and then we have something called as admin console so admin console think of uh, that as a you know uh, web portal wherein you can log in uh, and uh, you can control your entire uh, web share application uh, instance or uh, entire you know web share application server uh, runtime so that's a what do you call uh, think of it as a you know uh, web portal where you can you know log in and control all your uh, vast related uh, products and then you have something called as a uh, deployment so deployment uh, uh, this is the typical nature of a uh, web share guys developers will be you know uh, developing their application they will be, they will be you know packaging it and uh, building it up uh, as uh, what do you call uh, a bar a jar or an er file so uh, vas admin team they will be you know collecting these files and they will be deploying it that's the terminology the deployment means that you are uh, going to install that package whatever you have got from your application or development teams into websphere so that installation of uh, uh, you know application related artifacts it's known as deployment and uh, let, let's you know uh, jump into you know profile so what is a profile guys profile uh, this is the very first thing you will be you know uh, doing after installation of vas prof uh, vas and uh, you will have to you know create uh, profiles without you know profiles uh, installing uh, websphere uh, the installation of websphere it's useless it, it's it's uh, an empty setup i would say so you create a vas environment by creating profiles a profile is a you know set of configuration files used to create application server runtimes so think of that uh, as a you know runtime instance of a uh, websphere application server and uh, this uh, set includes you know static products files configuration files and uh, there are so many items uh, so think of it as you know a runtime of a websphere installation application server and a profile is a concept which can individualize uh, different websites product installation of vas provides you product files which can be used to create different deployment topologies and profiles profiles are the way to you know do that to create uh, topologies of websphere application server and then yeah uh, types of profiles uh, we have got uh, two types of profiles uh, you know this is the general classification you have got managed profiles and management profiles so let's uh, see the management uh, profile first so management profile it it consists of you know deployment manager profile administrative profile administrative agent profile and then finally job manager profile so as the name says uh, this will be used for administration activities and then we have something called as managed profiles so managed profiles are getting you know controlled by uh, uh, what do you call management profiles i don't know whether i've got it right but let me you know uh, reiterate that once again managed profiles are uh, getting you know controlled or uh, yeah administered by management profiles so let's you know uh, see about um, the profiles the types of profiles uh, in detail so the very first one dmgr profile dmgr stands for uh, deployment manager and this is the manager profile for all the profiles under it by default when you create a dmgr profile it will be empty and it will be useless you will have to create a you know federation between other profiles and this deployment manager and uh, dmgr profile it's a single place to manage all the components and uh, apply various features to all components or uh, selective components of a, of your you know deployment uh, uh, activity so dmgr that's the uh, central console um, by logging into you know deployment manager you get to control all the you know federated profiles under that particular D, uh, dmgr so once you create a dmgr what happens uh, on the server it creates an underlying jvm server and uh, that particular jvm server will have a dmgr name why we use a dmgr deployment manager uh, if you create this profile it can only be you know federated either with application server profile custom profile or job manager profile so uh, these are the you know uh, suitable uh, uh, profiles uh, uh, you know with which you can you know federate your uh, deployment manager to and dmgr it cannot be federated with another dmgr profile that mapping will never happen and same is the case with uh, you know the above said line you can only you know uh, federate a application server with a single dmgr you cannot have a uh, 
one application server having connections or federations to two different uh, deployment manager same is the case with you know custom profile and uh, uh, job manager as well so one dmgr it should have uh, 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 it, it it'll never have a connection with another dmgr and uh, dmgr is the uh, jvm process name how do you administer this uh, dmgr profile how do you control it you have got two different methods guys one is the web portal uh, we'll be you know calling it as a admin console or a dmgr console and the next thing is a ws admin uh, utility so ws admin utility uh, that's an interactive uh, uh, you know shell scripting uh, tool which runs on the os level so if if you prefer that method you can even you know do it so dmgr console or uh, admin console that's a popular way guys and uh, when you start a uh, dmgr jvm process it will start uh, listening on different port numbers first one is admin host then we have got admin host secure port we have got sub port uh, as well so admin host uh, this is used for browsing the dmgr console uh, so as i said dmgr console or admin console it is a web portal and uh, in order to you know browse a web portal you need to know the port number as well so admin host that's the http port for uh, your uh, admin console or a dmgr console admin host secure is the https port for um, uh, dmgr console and then the final one so port this will be used for uh, connecting uh, uh, to ws admin or uh, to perform you know syncing operation between different set of uh, profiles or you know in order to create a federation uh, between your deployment manager and uh, the suitable uh, profiles so you need to know this uh, so port number and uh, you can use either of uh, two ways to configure or control entire cell structure which is configured in the dmgr profile so you you, have, you know we have seen that ws admin and uh, or uh, the admin console of uh, deployment manager and then the next set of profile it's called as application server profile so an application server profile can be created for two reasons one it is created to you know host standalone applications like applications which is used by a developer for testing his coding where uh, wherein there is no uh, failover or load balancing available so standalone application server that environment will have just uh, this application server profile it will not have any other profiles so that's called as you know standalone and why do people uh, use that uh, the standalone application server uh, setup just to test uh, their applications mostly you know developer or uh, development teams will be you know using this architecture and uh, you know the second reason application server profiles will be created to get uh, you know federated with dmgr profiles and uh, make the manager uh, to take control of this profile so once you uh, federate it with your deployment manager log into deployment manager admin console and uh, you can you know control uh, applications profile as well and as i said uh, uh, it can be administered by a dmgr console and uh, you can even use a ws admin uh, utility yeah and uh, third uh, profile type is a uh, custom profile uh, it's an empty profile which has uh, which has only a single reason to exist uh, it will be you know uh, used to federate with a dmgr profile you can you know it's a it's an empty uh, place and uh, you can you can uh, you know give it some uh, what do you call uh, use by federating it with your uh, dmgr console or dmgr profile and then uh, fourth one it's called as cell profile so when configuring the cell profile you can configure two profiles automatically so this cell profile is a collection of uh, two different uh, profiles it will create a dmgr and an application server so you need to you know um, provide uh, uh, details of dmgr profile and application server details such as dmgr uh, name cell name node name host name and so on so cell name will be taken as dmgr cell name uh, after federation once are uh, created the federation of dmgr and application server profile will happen automatically and then uh, uh, we have something called as admin agent profile you can integrate all the application server profiles uh, to a admin agent and uh, you will have only one console for uh, all so this is about uh, what do you call um, standalone application server uh, uh, architecture guys so think about this uh, you are in a de development team and uh, you have uh, multiple application server uh, profiles and how do you administrate 
you want to you know maintain it as a standalone environment there is nothing like you know deployment manager so that time uh, in in that case you can uh, stick with the admin agent so admin agent it will it will have uh, connections to all your uh, you know standalone application servers and you can you know control all of them by this if you have more have more than one uh, standalone server for example you can you know uh, stick with admin agent there is no uh, it, since it is a you know standalone uh, application server architecture there is nothing like you know deployment manager so uh, you can replace uh, this deployment manager concept with admin agent and then uh, job manager so job manager profile it's an interesting one guys a job manager can create modify delete start or stop uh, things like you know applications jvm underlying jvms resources configurations and etc uh, can be anything guys it can uh, do you know lot of things it's it, it's uh, automation at uh, best guys i mean uh, automation here in uh, web server application server so one solution for uh, this is a one uh, single solution for uh, people who don't work in uh, shifts just schedule a job and you know go home and the job will be you know um, executed uh, by the defined uh, time frame we can even you know send notifications and uh, repeat them uh, night time for uh, weeks or months or uh, even uh, days and hours so you have that uh, complete uh, uh, you know uh, option you can even drill down to you know hours and uh, there are uh, you know so many job status the first one is you know started then we have something called as running failed and completed so these are the job status uh, by using job manager you can you know set up our uh, jobs you can only federate dmgr profiles and admin agent profiles to a job manager so that's uh, the important thing here if you want to you know connect dmgr profiles and admin agent profiles yeah you can do it you can you know connect multiple uh, uh, such profiles with a single job, job manager and then uh, finally uh, liberty profile it's a very lightweight profile for a web server application server liberty profile is a flexible and dynamic profile for vas which enables the vas server to deploy only required custom features instead of deploying a big set of available j2w uh, components so this is for uh, uh, the development teams guys i mean this is the profile uh, you know specifically designed for uh, development teams liberty profile provides a simplified and lightweight development and applications uh, serving environment for web osgi and uh, mobile applications so people who are you know are developing web uh, osgi and uh, mobile applications they tend to you know use this liberty profile and uh, yeah this is the you know um, entire overview we were uh, talking about all all these uh, parts we have seen what uh, what is a cell so cell it's a collection uh, or uh, uh, it consists of two different things a dmgr server and an application server so here we have got our um, deployment manager which is connected with our uh, two different nodes and uh, node one we have uh, a node agent and node two has also have it, it, it is having another node agent so the moment you create a node the or uh, the moment you create a federation between deployment manager and uh, your uh, uh, your own you know uh, suitable uh, profile node agent will be in open running so remember that point and uh, under this you have got server uh, one it's a jvm guys uh, can be of type uh, application um, yeah application server profile and uh, on on node 2 also we have another jvm uh, known as server 2 and uh, yeah we have created a cluster here so as i said a cluster is a logical grouping uh, just to achieve high availability so here we have grouped uh, this server 1 and uh, server 2 this is a cluster setup and it it is uh, you know all controlled uh, by this deployment manager and uh, that's all guys so i just wanted to you know talk about a cluster setup if something happens to you know node 2 and it goes down all the you know traffic will be routed to node 1 and it can you know uh, serve the request so that that's all about uh, uh, the profiles guys and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video i know this is a lengthy one but uh, you know take your time and uh, let me know in case of uh, any questions or queries uh, subscribe to the channel guys if you haven't uh, done that already thanks a lot for watching the video give us a feedback uh, we would uh, definitely you know love to hear that from you guys that's all guys